Veronica as the YouTube name does say and today I'm coming to you guys with a partial makeup video yeah I already have my eye shadow on eyelashes eyebrows as well as my foundation I just did a review on the um, covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation that I received via influencer for testing so you guys can definitely go ahead and watch that video it should definitely be up before this video is up if not right after and today's video is going to be a review of the ColourPop concealer the ColourPop no filter concealer um, this concealer came out about two weeks ago and I like listen when ColourPop releases new things and it's something I want I stop that fucking website like at 105, I'm like, oh my god, why is it not showing up yet? Why? Because the website was like locked down, and I kept refreshing, kept refreshing. Like I have to buy this. And the crazy thing about this was everybody was hype about it, but it did not sell out quickly. Like I thought it was gonna sell out so fast, but it didn't. It was on there for a few hours. Unlike you know, yes please or give me more, where it sells out super quick. This kind of was on there for a little bit. Like I think it just sold out this week, or probably late last week so i was shocked about that but nonetheless i made sure i got my hands on mine because i was not gonna be missing out okay who me no um <laughs> yes so like i said i already have foundation on i'm gonna go ahead and apply this as my highlighter shade i got the color deep 70 and it's super gorgeous super pretty but i feel like i would prefer it more as a highlighter than a concealer so we're gonna test it out as a highlighter hopefully it doesn't jack up my whole foundation but if it does i can correct it um, but we're gonna try this out as a highlighter and see how we like it um, So yeah, it was only six bucks for this for this concealer as well, and I got it probably a week after I um, ordered it So if you guys would like to see how this concealer blends out how it looks on dark skin then go ahead and keep watching Alright guys, so first and foremost, um, just opening the product, I love the applicator. I'm going to spill it in my product, you know. Okay. I love the applicator, it is like a flexible looking wand and it grabs a lot of the product up initially so I love that about this applicator. Um, super nice and of course the standard ColourPop bottles and how they do their thing with the fizzle. Um, so we're gonna start with we have on the wand and I'm gonna highlight so highlighting areas under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin area so let's see what happens I'm nervous y'all I'm so nervous okay so it applies super super soft really really creamy and like one dip in the bottle goes a long way Cause this is literally from the first dip that I made. I'm using this all on my face right now. It's a lot of product on the wand. The wand's super nice. It is super flexible. Like I don't know if you guys are seeing how like it bends against my face like that. Super freaking flexible. I like this a lot. And yeah, the color is def. This is definitely for me. I feel like a highlighter for me. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it's a highlighter. So if I wanted to like get my exact shade I don't think it'll be the deep 75 either or rich 75 rich deep 75 or 80 is the color um, I'll put the correct uh, picture at the bottom of it. yeah so this is the deep 70 um, and you know what I'm just gonna blend it out with my powder brush if this is as blendable as they say it shouldn't matter what you use right am I right am I right I'm right so we're gonna take this powder brush and we're gonna blend everything out Okay. I didn't even use a lot of effort for that. I'm gonna have to contour that though, that's made my chin look super big. I blended that too much out, but we're gonna correct that. All right, and then we're gonna go under the eye. Oh my God, this is blending so freaking good, y'all. Like, it doesn't even make sense. If I had my beauty blender, this would be even better. This would blend even better right now. Oh my God, this is blending so good. What? 
Look at that. This is nice. It's blending nice, y'all. Yeah, it's blending super, super nice. So now we're gonna go on this side. Like I'm not even doing much. I'm literally just patting it with my brush. Y'all see the motions that I'm doing? I'm like taking it under my eyes close as I can. I'm literally just patting it out with my brush. That's all I'm doing. And look how pretty that's blending out. Oh my God, that is freaking bomb. Yeah, so I feel like this is better as a highlighter for my personal skin tone. Um, and like I said, uh, I think they need to have a little bit more variations for the dark skins because just having deep 70 and rich, um, deep 80 or 75, I believe, um, just having those two, I don't think that's enough at all. I don't think those are enough shades at all. And I know this is them starting out, but I feel like they had like so many variations of white shades and only like two shades for dark skin girls. Like, I know y'all gonna treat us right. We be out here waxing, spend all this money on your products. And you gonna do us like that with two, two shades? All right, so that's me highlighting with the um, concealer. Let me tell y'all, this thing blended so good. And y'all saw me, I didn't do a lot. I didn't pat super hard. I literally just did this the whole time. And like me doing it still is like blending it out into my face. Like what the fuck? This foundation is so nice. I'm sorry, this concealer is so nice. And it blends really, really um, flawlessly. Let me conceal my lip. It blends really flawlessly. It does end up being matte after it dries, like, cause it's very matte right now. So this works really, will work really good for combination in uh, oily skin tones or skin types. I'm sorry, um, like I'm, I'm trying to say today. I'm just, in all of this fucking foundation. But it's concealer. Mm, got me jumbling my words over here, color pop. All right, so as a highlighted fucking A1, it's so freaking nice. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to you guys and give you my bye. So here goes the finish the look, guys. Um, after I have applied my ColourPop No Filter Concealer to my face, um, yeah, really love this foundation. It's super blendable. The wand is amazing. Love the wand. It's so crazy because when I saw the girls um, reviewing this, especially Shannon, she was talking about how much she loved the wand. It's so flexible. It's so great. How the product is so creamy. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, I believed her because I have some ColourPop stuff. And every time they say something about the product, it's definitely true. But I was like, oh, okay. I need to try that first. Because I've tried so many concealers, y'all. When I say so many concealers and none of them blend like this one does. And maybe it's because they're drugstore concealers, and trust me, I don't knock drugstore because I love drugstore foundations, but I don't know, for some reason, it's always like a hit and miss with me when it comes to concealers. So the fact that I found one that I'm obsessed with, and I'm literally about to buy like six more of these to have, just in case they either stop running out, um, stop selling it, or change the formula up, I wanna have the original. So when they come back in stock, I'm definitely gonna buy at least six of these and six of the deep one. So I can use that as like a cream contour when I'm ready or just as an actual concealer because to be honest the deep one probably wouldn't be even be a cream contour for me. I don't know. Um, but definitely this is amazing as like a highlighter in my opinion because I don't over highlight. Like a lot of girls like to have that super like bright. I don't like to do that. I like a subtle highlight. So this is great for me. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It works well with my foundation that I had on which is the CoverGirl Elixir foundation. It worked really, really well with that. Um, it blended seamlessly with it and I just feel like it looks amazing y'all like amazing hold up I'm shining a little bit right here mm -mm. okay yeah <laughs> sorry guys color pop all on the face um so yeah I think it looks amazing I love it a lot it's super super blendable the wand again is amazing and the, the formula is great and it does dry really matte, which I like. I like that it dries matte like that. Um, and yeah, so I think it's worth the money. It's only six freaking bucks. I, my only complaint is that they need to have like so much more variations for dark skin women. Um, there's so many different skin tones uh, for us and so many different underlying tones. Like um, I just, 
can't wait until they expand the darker end of it and, and come out with more variations to that. Once they do, they'll be winning in concealer. I promise you, they will be freaking winning. ColourPop is already winning. Like, everything on my face is ColourPop. Chateau, ColourPop. Um, highlight, ColourPop. Give me more palette. I used bigger and better. Um, what else I got on my face? ColourPop. This eyeshadow, courtesy of ColourPop, from the Yes Please palette that I just got in the mail with this concealer. Like, listen, they are winning in my book. Everything they've come out with so far, I've been buying. So I'm telling y'all, if you're not on the ColourPop bandwagon, y'all need to jump right on it. And right now, I know that the um, no filter concealer is out of stock so most likely they'll probably restock it by next week they always end up restocking shit when I get paid which will be next week so most likely they'll probably restock this by next week um, I know they just restocked the Give Me More yesterday so if you don't have the Give Me More palette you might want to go in there and see if they still got some and yeah so that's my review on this foundation I love it a lot I think I mean I keep saying foundation on this concealer, I love it a lot. It's amazing, worth the six bucks. I feel like you all should try it out. Um, and like I said, if you don't like it, trust me, it's only six dollars. Like I'm pretty sure you spent more on something that you don't like and can't return. So like six bucks just to try something out, it's worth it. It's so awesome. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any video ideas, any requests, any suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, you can also follow me on social media, Cassie Veronica or Cassie Veronica underscore MU. That's like my up and coming makeup page. I haven't really put much on there yet, but I'm trying to be more active there. But my normal page that I'm active on is Cassie Veronica as my name is spelled here for the YouTube channel. Also, you can follow me on Snapchat because when I get any products, y'all be the first one to know on Snap. So go ahead and hit me up on Snap. Add me, I will add you guys back. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Cassie underscore Veronica. Anything else that you could think of for social media, it's usually gonna be Cassie Veronica as one word. So you can always try to follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I so, so appreciate it. And for everyone who subscribed, I appreciate you guys subscribing to me and sticking with me as this content rolls out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.